What's going on, everybody? Rod J back again. Happy Saturday to you. Actually, back to do an unboxing, sharing of some of the beers I picked up today, this Saturday. Well, actually, it was earlier this Saturday, early afternoon, and now it is pretty much late afternoon, almost dinner time here in the East. And uh, I meant to do this a little bit ago, but I was kind of uh, hooked into the Oklahoma. Texas game, which was a pretty good game. So, four overtimes later, I can now do this unboxing video. So, welcome and shout out to the guys in the chat already. Good to see you there. Thomas, uh, Windows Beer Review with Thomas. We got Craig from Camp Beer Reviews. Also, we got Adam from Mercy Beers. Cheers to you all. And uh, let's see, the, well, actually, the music I like to have in here, though, Thomas. So, I'll go ahead and keep that. It might be coming through. I'm trying to do some adjustments on here, so maybe it's a little bit louder, so I'll tune it down a little bit there. But I'm going to actually uh, share some of the beers that I picked up earlier today when I was making a beer run. I posted a picture there on the community tab and figured I'd go ahead and uh, share some of the brews picked up. Now, for some of you guys that will probably ask, yes, they're actually... Um, is some deals involved so there were some deals i did find out there as well but you know that's just how it always ends up happening so i'm going to go ahead and take a look here and for some of you that are actually local uh here in cincinnati the first ones i actually uh got here is from braxton Bruin, and it is actually their collab with graders so I'll get that up here. This is their Key Lime Pie Goza, their handcrafted batch. So looking forward to trying this. I had thought about picking this one up previously, but did not because uh, I just didn't. But then I went out to Jungle Gyms, and for those of you that have seen the Jungle Gyms video, you know how crazy it is there. And ended up picking up a four pack of these today. And these ones, for $4.99 for the four pack. Like I said, there were some deals out there. I actually went in to get something totally different away from the beer, except for a couple things I was looking for, and I happened to stumble across these. So hard to pass up $4.99 for a four pack of these. Uh, iconic summer treat is brewed with vanilla beans, cinnamon, lactose, and freshly zested key limes to create a perfect balance between sweet and tart. A creamy dessert style ale with the same heavily taste and aroma of a fresh slice of key lime pie. This one comes in at an ABV of four and a half percent, IBU of four as well. And Braxton does some very nice beers here in our area. So limited release. And this is again, the key lime pie from Braxton. They team up with Graders. Graders is actually one of our local ice cream places. So it's kind of a little uh, kind of thing they do there that, uh, They've done a pumpkin one, they've done like a blackberry, raspberry uh, chip one, and they've done another one, I believe, too. So, something they like to have fun with. And away from that, I ended up coming across one I had not seen before. This is from Southern Tier. I don't know if you guys have seen this out there. It is the white chocolate raspberry imperial white milk stout. So I could pass these up. These come in at 10% ABV. It makes a note on here saying the color pink, mouthfeel smooth, bitterness low to moderate, Blackwater series, fusion of exotic flavors, making each perfect pairing when you're craving an exceptional stout full of personality. Here is the bottle itself as well. Now a four pack of this with the Blackwater series, if you're familiar with Southern Tier, they usually be a, a little bit of a pretty penny, but these were actually $6.99 for the four pack. So I got two. Could have got more, but I said, nope, two's enough because I can actually save these for a bit. Um, as far as on the label, it doesn't really give you anything else, but Southern Tier always has some neat looking beers, neat tasting beers, and uh, had not seen this one. So again, big fan of stouts and the Imperial White Milk Stout. I felt like, why not go ahead and uh, take that risk there? So, ended up picking up two four packs of those. I gotta put these somewhere here. 
Well, let's see here. So then, hey, what's going on, Erie? Good to see you as well. And Emerson, cheers, my friend. So then they also had these there. And this is uh, from Erdinger, from out of Germany. It is their Wee Beer. All naturally using traditional two-stage fermentation of a pasteurized. And you guys have seen this, especially you guys over there, Thomas, Craig, Adam in the UK. You probably have seen this over there more than we've seen over here. But uh, wasn't really looking to pick this one up, but $2.99, a four pack. I said, okay, twist my arm. I'll go ahead and throw those into the, uh, the card as well. So I'm gonna actually uh, enjoy these. And I've had some of their beers from Erdinger before, usually at our Oktoberfest or some of the other festivals. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what I have with this one. Erie says Alice said he got some Yingling Chocolate Porter. Good, I know he's been definitely wanting to get that for a while. And actually that was there where I was at too. I didn't actually uh, pick up any because I had it last year when it came out, but I think it was, Eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine for the six pack, and actually Hillbilly Select reviews. I watched this video earlier. He actually did the Yingling chocolate porter with vanilla ice cream that went down pretty well. So there is an idea for Alan to do, especially on his birthday. And again, happy birthday to Alan, the eclectic beard, and hopefully you guys are having a great time there in Myrtle Beach as well. BC in the house. What is going on, BC's beer reviews? Good to see you, brother. Hopefully you guys are doing well up there. Uh, I believe you're in Michigan, so hopefully things are going good and. Uh, Big Ten football will be kicking off two weeks from today. So that's be interesting to see out there. Uh, Erie says he grabbed some pumpkin beer last night. That was amazing. Oh, Erie's got the pumpkin now. And speaking of pumpkin, I'll get to that in a second too. But then I decided they had these there as well. And I've never had this beer. And I've seen it numerous times. Again, for the guys over in the UK, this is something you guys see all the time, I'm sure. It was from Witchwood Brewery. It was the uh, Hobgoblin English Ruby Beer. Get that there. And again, it was one of those things they were trying to get the surplus out. So it was $2.99 for a four pack of these. So I said, what the heck? I'll go ahead and check it out and taste it. Brewed with roasted malts for a well-balanced, rich, smooth taste, full of mischievous character. And this one comes in a 4.5% ABV. Hobgoblin is a blend of smooth, rich flavors from chocolate and crystal malts. The refreshing, the refreshing bitterness of an English Fugles. And then it gets kind of screwed up here trying to read this. Hops and a dash of citrus aroma from Syrian Goldings. A beer full of mischievous characters. So, trying to read it through the thing there. But uh, I've seen this numerous times. I never picked it up. Again, two ninety nine. Why not throw it in the cart? Uh, since nineteen eighty three, it says on the can there though. But uh, pretty cool little artwork. Kind of reminds you of Lord of the Rings or something there with the Hobgoblin logo. Why not give it a shot, right? So, those are some of the beers I got there already, right? I told you I only went in there for like maybe one or two things. And I'm getting all this stuff out of here. Um, one of our local breweries here that does some really good beers is 50 West. This is one they actually came out with. I had not done a review on. I've had before the brewery. This is their Strawberry Goza Ale. Strawberry Goza Ale, 4.5% ABV. Ended up picking this six pack up again. Just because it was a deal. This one there was also $4.99. So it's hard to turn away some of these deals when they're actually there. Again, these were all done at Jungle Gyms. And if you haven't seen a Jungle Gyms video, make sure to check that out here on the channel. If I can go back, maybe I'll put the link to it down below. It's pretty much an adult playground for beer drinkers. Um, but this one was, I remember being tasty back in the day. So I figured why not go in and get it. Kind of neat. Uh, it was funny on the uh, can itself. If I can break one of these off, it has like a sign above the 50 West logo. Uh, get it right there. And right above there, and the sign, get my hand up front right at the, well, at the apex, right up here, there's like a marker, and it tells you where the brewery is coming from 
east or from west because it sits on Route 50. So it's kind of interesting. It says uh, 650 miles if you're going uh, west to east and then 24, 23 if you're going east to west. So something that's kind of a interesting thing there, but it sits right on 50 and uh, it's a pretty cool brewery. They actually have volleyball courts outside and the sand and some other stuff they do. So a lot of people like going there in the summertime. Uh, let me see here. Crazy, that's cheaper than we can get it. Usually uh, four pound a pack, four pack here. And talking about the uh, Hobgoblin, I think. Hobgoblin used to be amazing, not so much now. What's going on, Rasco and Disco? Good to see you. A few other good guys there with the beer channel. If you haven't checked out Rasco and Disco Beer Review. Yeah, I've, I've never had it, but I mean, at $2.99, I can't really be too disappointed, right? Hey, what is going on, Alex? Hello from London. Good to see you as well. Cheers. Getting a lot of the UK people in today, which is awesome. Um, still a destination place I need to visit. Oh, uh, let me see here. Let me see, is it looking good? Uh, Emerson said, Rod, Eagle, they got a couple of things, seven hours of unboxing. It can turn into that way sometimes. It can turn into some ways. <laughs> oh, Rascal says, hello, Kent Beer Review, and uh, actually in Kent right now. Well, there you go, right in town. So those were some of the ones I got there. And of course, it doesn't stop with that, right? There's still more. So here's another one I got. And this is one, again, wasn't expecting to pick this up today, but this happened to be there as well. And this one is actually one I've had the brewery before, but not this type of style, because I've done one of their other ones, the Kinder Spirit. This is from Innocent Gun. It's the Irish Whiskey Cask, Irish Whiskey Barrel. So it is a stout done in barrels it says iris whiskey barrel stout packed with chocolate toffee and vanilla oak 6.1 abv ended up picking this four pack up not for 4.99 but for 3.99 so i was pleased with them before and so this one is actually uh should be tasty i'm thinking as well these were as many as you wanted to get too so there wasn't like any limit on them i just got the one i did have two at one point but i put it back to get something else so again these are some of the deals i picked up i actually went back and got another one of these which you which you guys have seen before the uh cardboard thing is going off a little bit but i actually picked up another one of the polliner oktoberfest because the mug is pretty damn cool but this one was actually $8.99 versus $9.99. So not as much of a discount, but still a dollar less than what I paid the first time. One of the reasons being the liter can that I have in here for the beer, I am going to actually do the liter boot challenge for beer chugs. So I have a liter boot that's behind me and you put in a liter of beer and you see how quick you can drink the liter of beer from the boot. So. I needed something that was a perfect leader, so that worked out well. And I got a good souvenir glass, all for $8.99. I can't complain, I can't complain. Uh, let's see here. BC, that's how Craig was doing, he said very well. And right now I'm drinking Double Crooked Tree. I do like Double Crooked Tree by Dark Horse. I haven't had that in a bit. And Dark Horse does some very damn nice beers. Yeah, hey, what's going on, Muscal? Cheers, good to see you. Yeah, the uh, boot is a cool challenge. And here actually is the one liter boot. So I'll get this filled up and then do a video that'll get time so that beer chugs can actually enter into his information from the people that did the boot challenge. So if you haven't seen beer chugs, make sure you check out his channel as well. Usually on Wednesday nights we play with the ABV over there. But just when you think I've got all the deals here, wait, there's more. So let me slide this over. The coolest deal I probably got was this baby. Not that the other ones weren't cool deals, but I, you know I love Belgian ale. So this is Duvel. It's a four pack of the Duvel beers and a complimentary glass. So this was actually $14.99. Crazy, right? So I couldn't believe it was that cheap. Let me get the glass out of here. And then, of course, the Duvel Belgian Strong Golden Ales. Four of them. Four 
plus the glass. And here's the glass, which is pretty sick too. It's got the artwork on it, which is pretty neat. Get that a little closer for you guys. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm like, definitely uh, wanted to go ahead and pick that up. So that is the deal right there. Oh, we're gonna put all this other stuff back into this here. And as far as the uh, the golden ale, this has an ABV. It's 11.2 ounce bottles, 8.5 percent ABV. And on the back, they give you a little bit of information there around the beer as well. We're not gonna be not reading all of that there. But if you've had Duvel before, definitely recommend. If you're a Belgian fan, definitely recommend checking that out. That is good beer. go there and the last thing I got which wasn't a deal it was just a something that was a pretty neat looking beer I thought and uh, this was actually a six pack and it's from Central Waters it's Wendy coffee pumpkin milkshake IPA now this was a six pack that was uh, $14.99 so no deal on this one but I have not had pumpkin beer this year so I said I have to finally get a pumpkin beer this is a coffee pumpkin milkshake IPA ale with pumpkin, coffee, and spices. So Central Waters is being known for making some good beer here in the States. So looking forward to seeing what this one has to offer. Let's see if I get the ABV on this one. Actually don't see the ABV on here. I know I saw it at one point. I might have been on the sign that was there. We do have a date, of course. Those are the dates on there. But where is the A B V? You know, you can make stuff and not put the A B V on it. Let me take a look here at my phone. All right, so the ABV on this one here is 7.2%, 30 IBU. So yeah, I thought that was a unique kind of a mix for a uh, milkshake IPA. So I have officially purchased a pumpkin beer here in 2020 finally. So looking forward to actually testing how that one actually tastes. So those were all the beers I actually picked up. Got a couple other things in there, but roughly all the stuff that you saw there Take out a couple of the other things that I uh, that I also got. So I'm gonna take out that. So it was about like probably about seventy-five dollars or so of stuff. So not really that much price-wise, I guess, but a good amount for what I actually paid for sure. So not that I needed more beer in the cellar, but. I'll get this stuff filed away. Some of these I'll drink a little bit more before the other ones, but not a bad day on a beer run, so to speak. Um, let me take a look here in the comments. Moose Gal asked, have I ever drank spicy beers? I have. I've drank beers with peppers that were done, Serrano peppers, habanero peppers, um, some other type of ones that were spicy too. So sometimes it depends what they put with it because you don't really get the spice coming through, but some you do. The uh, habanero sculpin I remember from Ballast Point had a good, pretty kick on it that uh, was a little more of a kick than you probably should have had in that beer. But it's uh, there's so many different uh, types out there. Like I said, I actually made a beer using peppers, and I used it with berries, and I actually cut the heat by me doing that. So you can have stuff in it that may not be com come across as spicy, but they're definitely out there. It is a good amount of beer. I mean, technically, yeah, it's a good amount of beer that I have here. And I already have a good amount down in the basement, so it'll be uh, added down there as well. Yeah, ABV is MIA, right? So every can, every bottle should have the ABV, the date, style on it at the least, but it is what it is. 
Uh, BC said, oh, me and my brother Sean did a show today with pumpkin pie hard cider. I just posted a video up on YouTube. Nice. We'll have to definitely check that out. And y'all check out BC Beer Reviews as well. Well, some of the stuff that he's doing there too. Some really good sharing of information there around the beers. But yeah, that is the beers that I actually picked up today. And I'm going to be sharing those videos upcoming. So make sure you guys uh, check the channel. Hit the alarm bell so you're notified. If there's other stuff you want me to try out there, always feel free to leave a comment or let me know. And if I come across it, we'll definitely look to try to do some, some stuff there. But that being said, I'm going to now go put this stuff away. I've got some other videos I'm going to probably upload later today. Uh, may do a live later. It depends on what happens. But if I do, then I'll be back and hit that notification bell so that way you'll know. That being said, I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on.